Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. All praises to the Most High. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. In the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, a so called black man. This is the lie, the truth, the strong delusion. The lie, the truth, the strong delusion. This is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. We're going to read from the top, verse 1. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter as from us, as that the day of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember ye not that when I was with you, I told you these things. Six, and now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity do, doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let, until he be taken out of the way. And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. 9. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness, of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved and for this cause the most high shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie verse 12 that they might be damned that salak let me read that again that they all might be damned who believe not the truth but have pleasure in unrighteousness and that's what and that's what's being set up right now man for all those people who don't believe in the truth they're going to be damned because they believe the lie. And it tells us that in uh, the book of Mark, what is it, verse number 16? And I believe we're going to go down to verse 15. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature, the good news. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. So, if you believe in the truth and in this word, in the spirit that you get baptized, you should be saved. But if you believe not, you should be damned. You're going to be under that strong delusion because you believe a lot. And was this saying in verse 15 that he should go and preach the gospel to every creature, meaning birds, snakes, rabbits, cats, dogs? You know, no. Every creature in the sense of every Israelite who don't know the Israelites, who have no, you know, who have no sense of what's going on. Go and preach that to every creature. Let's go and get that in verse, uh, let's go and get that in the uh, book of Romans. And we're going to start it at the top, verse 1. This is Romans 8, verse 1. There is therefore... Now no condemnation to them which are in Christ, Hamashiach, Yahawashah, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Hamashiach, Yahawashah, have made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, and that it was weak through the flesh, the Most High sin in his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemn sin in the flesh that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit for they that are after the flesh do made the things of the flesh but they that are after the spirit the things of the spirit for to be carnally minded is death but the spiritually minded is life and peace because the carnal mind is enmity against the most high for it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please the Most High. 
because when you in the flesh, you know, you in a different mindset. This is why the gospel has to be preached to every creature. And like I said, it's not talking about creatures, meaning like animals and stuff like that, or people that are not Israelites. It's talking about Israelites who don't know they're Israelites, man, who lost their identity. So this gospel has to be preached to every creature, every one of us. Because before we came in as this truth, we didn't know who we were. And we're gonna see, we're gonna get that, we're gonna read a little bit farther down and get that, but yeah. See, keeping the law isn't gonna get you salvation. What's gonna get you salvation is keeping the commandments and having the faith in Yahweh shot that he's going to deliver you the right hand who Yahweh was going to send to deliver us in that day so when we keep the commandments that's part of deliverance part of salvation but in totality you must keep the commandments and have the faith in Yahweh shot not, not some Jesus <clears throat> or not some ideology that you can deliver your own self or you have delivered your own self because you made it you came from the bottom now you at the top you went from rags to riches that ain't gonna get you salvation and <laughs> that is not what salvation is because anybody could be put under that strong delusion man and come up in this world and believe they done made it and now they have no need to have faith in the truth to be delivered because in their eyes why would, why would they? They done went from rags to riches. They don't want this kingdom to end. They done accumulated so much wealth that they can put wealth aside for the next four or five generations to come after them. So although they got the money, some might, say, some might have the fame, some might say Jesus did it, God did it. No, that's not who did it, man. You are under a strong delusion to believe that's who did it. And unless you repent and turn from your ways, you're going to get the judgment that's coming in that day. So because you believe a lie, now you are being put under a strong delusion, man. And that's what we read in 2 Thessalonians that what? Let's go down to it. I believe it was verse 4 where it says, Who opposeth? and exalted himself above all that is called God or that is worship so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God showing himself that he is God and that's the vibe that this man of perdition has put across the whole world he has taken the name and twisted it and turned it into something totally different so now you can be a nihilist and believe in yourself and worship yourself as if you were a God yourself and just use the pretext of worshiping Jesus who has no power behind him, who's, who's, basically, who's basically an idol that you believe that because you call it on him, you've been delivered out of so many tight situations that, you know, what we bringing out to you, who the true names is, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, you know, that's all hate speech. Uh, them people just preaching hate. Nah, man, we giving you the key. We ain't, but Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai is using us to bring the key to salvation for you, for you Israelites, you so-called blacks, what, Spanish, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you know, this is the key to your salvation right here, man. You got to get the names right and not just getting the names right, but having faith in the names and keeping the commandments, man. Because calling on Jesus ain't going to do it in that day when this place gets judged by, you know, thermonuclear uh, missiles pursuant to, what's that? Malachi 4. And we can get that. Now we can get it right now, matter of fact. This is Malachi 4, verse 1. And it says, For behold, the day cometh that that shall burn as an oven, 
and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith Yahweh of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But until you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing and his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the, of the stall. And ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet. And the day that I shall do this, saith Yahweh of hosts. So there's a judgment coming that's going to burn as the oven, man. And that's this place, uh, Babylon, a.k.a. America, man. It's got a judgment. That, it's got a judgment that's coming, man. For all the wickedness that all the wickedness that it have done. And if you be partakers of this wickedness, you Israelites, don't think that you're not going to get that judgment along with them, man. Go hand, join in hand. The wicked should not go unpunished, man. So this is the, this is your time to come out of this mindset of this Babylonian kingdom, man, and return and repent and turn back to the true Lord and Savior, man. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. You know, come out of that pagan holiday, uh, Christmas, New Year's, Valentine's Day, Easter, celebrating your birthday. That's 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 idolatry right there when you celebrate your birthday, man, because you you put yourself in the temple being trying to be as God. As it, as I read in Second Thessalonians, the, the uh, second chapter, verse four. These are all ideas that we've been given to in this captivity as a creature. And what's going on right now in these last days is that this that the son that the uh, son of the son of perdition is being revealed right now. So this is your time to get it together before this place gets judged, man, by thermonuclear missiles. You know, and that's what's that's what's being set up right now, man. So you got to get. You got to get yourself together and repent, man, and turn and turn back from these these ways of Babylon that you've been brought up and taught. Let's go back to Romans. This is Romans eight, and back down to verse. We was probably at eight. So then they, so then they that are in the flesh cannot please the Most High, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of the Most High dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Yahawashai, he is none of us. And Yahawashai be in you, the body is dead because of sin. But the spirit is life because of righteousness. Right. So by keeping the commandments and having the faith that we not doing this on our own, it's not by our own will that we doing it is by the will of the most high through his only begotten son Yahweh shot that we even having this opportunity to come back and turn back and repent and come into you know who we are before we got our identities uh you know taken away from us and it goes on to read verse 11 but if the spirit of him that raised up Yahweh shot from the dead dwell in you he that raised up Yahweh shot from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bottles by, by the spirit that dwelleth in you. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh. For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. That's right, because when we called up to those chariots, man, we're going to have to get glorified bodies, man. We're not, gonna, we, we not getting called up in, in this flesh that we're in right now. It's incorruptible, man. It's corruptible flesh. we got to get uh, incorruptible. So it says, for if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. For as many as are led by the spirit of the Most High, they are the sons of the Most High. For ye have not received what? For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear. That's uh, 2 Timothy. But ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba Father. 16. The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. 
And we get that through these prophecies, man. We see that we tie the prophecies to what's going on in today and how it was led up to the day that we are those children, that we are the children of the Most High, man. We see that we fit the curses. We see how these prophecies are being unfolded. We see how, you know, these dry bones are being awakened, man. We, we bear witness to the spirit that we are, the, you know, the children of the, of, of the Most High. And if children, then heirs, heirs of the Most High and joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. If so be, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together, man. So you're going to suffer in this truth, man. Because as it, as it says in uh, uh, St. Mark, the 13th chapter, 13th verse, let's go back and get that and see why we have to suffer. 13. And let's go down to verse 13 because it tells you. And it says, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. You know, so we're going to be hated for the name of Yahweh Shah's sake, man. And there's a, a, a smear campaign that's going on that's going on right now. That anybody that speak against a certain group of people, let's just call them the 1948ers, that you're going to be labeled anti-Sim. So by you professing and claiming to be the true biblical Israelites and that those people over there in that land are not you being hated by all men you know and that's just how it's going to be which is going to cause some of us to be uh, cast into prison man whenever they pass these laws or whenever they come up with these laws that speaking on this word could be uh, could get you could get you time in the slammer could get you put away in prison man so it says, and he shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. So even though we got to go through this, we got to suffer with Yahweh Shai, man, because he went through this. And his suffering was a lot worse than, than what ours is. So it says, and he, what? And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. So we got to endure, man. We got to suffer to the end because we know what's coming after this this man's kingdom man it's an it's an eternal everlasting kingdom and righteousness so back to romans verse eight and uh i believe we was at uh let's see let's go with 17 and if children then heirs heirs of the most high and joint heirs with yahweh shai and so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. 18. For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. And it isn't, man. What's to come after this, man, is, is man, this what, is what we're going through right now. is going to be nothing what we're going to receive to have the kingdom, man. 19. For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of the Most High. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who have subjected the same in hope. So we was made creature, man, because we, we all, you know, come from that vanity mindset that it's us that's doing this, you know. We had to be baptized in this truth man to know the true truth that what it isn't us that's doing this man it's the one and only it's Yahweh through his only begotten son Yahweh Shai who has put the spirit on certain men certain servants to come out and preach this truth in these last days to wake up these dry bones man you see so it isn't us that's doing this. So we got to have faith in Yahweh Shai that he's going to come and deliver us, man. And we can't be in that cardinal mindset. So let's read that again. And it says, verse 20, well, let's go to 19. For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of the Most High. For the creature was made subject to vanity. Let's get that in uh, Psalms. 
94 verse 11 and it reads Yahweh knows the thoughts of men that they are all vanity see these are the thoughts of men that you know we can do it by ourselves we don't need you know we don't need assistance we try to rationalize it any type of way we can so that we can take glory in everything that you know happens for us you be on your you be on your uh bed your deathbed and you and you say jesus if you just let me get through this i, I promise i'll do this and i'll do that see and then when that happens you believe that it wasn't jesus you were just using that it was jesus let me get through this if you know you do i'll change my lifestyle no <laughs> you go straight back to what you was doing because there is no power in the name of Jesus, man. That's a strong delusion. See, and then you go on with that mindset, not knowing that because you believe a lie, that Jesus delivered you, that you being set up for the real judgment, man. And unless you repent and turn back and change your ways, then you're going to get that judgment. So let's go back to Romans pick up where we left off at this is Romans verse I mean uh, not verse but Romans 8 chapter I mean Romans 8 verse I believe it was down on number 20 for the creature was made subject to vanity man not willingly but by reason of him who have subjected the same in hope because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of the most high and that's what we read you know go and preach the gospel to every creature see we in this mindset we in this man's mindset man that we can deliver our own self that we have no need for salvation because we've been told we we've been taught under this under this man's mindset that salvation is believing in jesus now i'm saved and you have no clue what you need salvation for under that ideology under that mindset or the mindset that I can deliver my own self or I have delivered my own self from coming up from the bottom and now I'm at the top. See, this is all a strong delusion that because you believe in a lie and not the truth that you're being set up for the end game, the judgment, man. And unless you repent and turn back from that way of thinking, you got judgment coming to you. So you ain't being saved from nothing. What you're going to need to be saved from is yet to come. And like I said, it's coming by the way of of those uh, those thermonuclear missiles, man. ICBMs. So it says, because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption until the glorious liberty of the children of the Most High. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now and not only they but ourselves also which have the first fruits of the spirit even we ourselves groan within ourselves waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our body and that's what we waiting on man we wait we waiting on salvation man we waiting patiently for the for the second coming of our lord and savior yahweh shah we ain't waiting on no jesus that, what is he going to do? You might as well just be like uh, Ramsey, man. When he uh, when his son died and he was praying to that, that, that false statue, man. That's the same thing when you're going when you gonna to call on Jesus in that day and you're going to find out that, that that's just a dumb statue, man. Because you have a strong delusion because you believe a lie leading up until that point that all these things that happened because you called on Jesus was a sign that that was the right person to call on. That who we've been preaching to you and giving you the name and his, you know, his teachings and how to have faith in him ain't, ain't who it is. 
and that's your hour shot, you're gonna believe that, oh man, that that's the people that's that's uh associated with hate speeches, man. That's the people that be talking all that hate. No, man, we talking, we giving you we it ain't we that's doing it. It's Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai that's using us to get you to know that you need to repent and turn back before judgment come. And we in these and we in these last days, man. So it says 23. And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves grown within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our body for we are saved by hope but hope that is seen is not hope for what for what a man see if why doeth he yet hope for and if you could see everything that you needed to see beforehand what would you need to have hope for you wouldn't need to have that it wouldn't be no need to if you knew you was going to wake up the next day and get this then it wouldn't serve you any purpose to do it will, will be required for you to get that the day before so it says for we are saved by hope but hope that is seen is not hope for what a man see if why do if he yet hope for him? so you know we got faith in Yahweh shot man a so-called black man that he's coming to deliver us out of this predicament that we in 25 but if we hope for that we see not then do we patient then then do we with patient wait for it so that's what we hoping for man likewise the spirit also helpeth our infirmities for we know not what we should pray for as we ought but the spirit itself make intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered so by us being in the spirit, Yahweh Shah is making intercession for us to the Father, man. Okay, Father, they done repented. They done turned back from their ways. It's time, you know, continue to make an intercession for us. Let, loose the angels, man. Let us take care of the ones that don't want to repent and deliver the ones that has repented. So it says 27, and he, and he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind, knoweth what is the mind of the spirit, because he have made intercession for the saints according to the will of the Most High. Right. So he already know, you know, by you know, by by our works that you know we are saints according to the will of the Most High. It says twenty seven, and he that searcheth the hearts. Know of what is what know of what is the mind of the spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of the most high. And it tells you that in Jeremiah 17, the Lord tried the hearts, the reign of every man. So he already knows what's in he already knows what's in your heart, not your heart as opposed to a feeling or emotion, but your heart is what's in your mind. So it says 28, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love the Most High, to them who are called according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestined to be confirmed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. So this was already predestined, man. Ain't no free will, man. Everything that's playing out is already predestined. We just going through the, the motions, man. We just letting this thing unf unfold. If you was already called, you already going to be called. You know, if you was called for salvation, that's, that's your lot. If you was called to be destroyed, okay, that's your lot. Everything was already predestined, man. So it says 30. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. Right. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. Go glorified. So he called us from what? Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, man. 
So this was already predestined from the beginning. You know, it was already set up from the beginning that uh, adoption and the covenant was going to come through what? The Israelites. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. What shall we then say to these things? If the Most High be for us, who can be against us? Right. <laughs> There's nobody that can be against us, man. Like it tells you in Isaiah. Let's go grab that right quick. Like Isaiah 54. And we're going to go down to verse 17. And it reads, No weapon that is formed against us. It's like in the reads, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of Yahweh, and their righteousness is of me, saith Yahweh. So it didn't say that the weapon wasn't going to be formed. It says that no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. It's not going to prosper. So whatever, you know, whatever work they try to downgrade a bad mouth the, the 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 servants the truth whatever they use it ain't gonna prosper it ain't saying that they they're not gonna form because they're they gonna form it and it's gonna mislead a lot of people but they was already predestined to be misled but it's gonna gather uh, it's gonna gather the elect those who were supposed to hear it you know in the innumerable numbers for for salvation man for that day when we called up to the chariots so there's there's no weapon formed against thee that shall prosper, man. <laughs> you, anything you do is gonna be used for for the truth, man. No matter what. So let's go back to Romans eight, and I believe it was at the last verse. Romans eight twenty. Where was we at? No, we wasn't at the last verse. Where was at? Romans 8. Uh, from whom he did know. 31. What shall we then say to these things? If the Most High be for us, who can be against us? He that sparred not his own son, he, so like he that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall we? How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of the Most High's elect? It is the Most High that justified. Who is he that condemneth? It is Yahweh that died, yea, rather, that is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of the Most High, Yahweh, who also maketh interse intercession for us? Who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh? Shai? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or pearl, or sword? That's what we read in uh, St. Mark 13, 13. And he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved, man. Though you should be hated by all men. So it goes on to read 36, as it is written, For thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that love us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come nor height, nor death, nor any other creature, any other creature. See, if it was talking about all creatures in uh, St. Mark 16, verse 15, then we wouldn't have to have the need for any other creature. But there are going to be other creatures, other men, other nations that's coming against us. And some of our own people shall be shall be able to separate us from the love of our power which is in Yahweh Shah Hamashiach our Lord so we're going to be hated 
by all men, you know, by all creatures. But he that sure and doing to the end, the same shall be saved, man. So the lie, the truth, the strong delusion. If you believe the lie, you're not gonna you're not gonna receive the truth. And if you don't receive the truth, you're gonna receive the strong delusion. And if you receive the strong delusion, you're not gonna receive salvation, man, deliverance. And it tells you, let's go ahead and get that. And Colossians, second chapter, and you know, we can read, we can start at verse five. And it reads, for though I, for though I be absent in the flesh, Yet am I with you in the spirit, joying and beholding your order, and the steadfastness and the steadfastness of your faith in Yahweh Shai. So we got to have faith in Yahweh Shai that He's going to deliver us. It's not us that's going to do it. It's not us that can be justified. It's not us that's going to be glorified. It's us through the faith of Yahweh Shai. Not no Jesus. Not no you doing it by yourself. Not any other way. Okay. Goes on to read. Verse 6. As ye have therefore received Yahweh Shahamashiach, the Lord, so walk you in him. Rooted and built up in him. And established in the faith. As ye have been taught. Abounding therein with thanksgiving. Beware. Lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Remember that in Psalms 94, 11? After the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ, Yahweh Hamashiach. See, that's what's going on right now in today's world, man. You being you being led astray and you being spoiled through philosophy. Oh, uh, you could come up on your own, man. You could get this, you could get that, you could do this, you could do that. See, you erring away from the truth, man. And what does it say? In vain deceit. After the tradition of man. See, these are the tradition that man gave you. You could be your own God. You don't need you don't need help from anybody. Oh, that truth, that book, that book ain't that book ain't real. <laughs> Some white man wrote that. Any, anything to throw you off from receiving the truth, man, so that you may receive a lie and be put under that strong delusion and led astray. For when the day of judgment comes that you need salvation, that you're not going to receive it. You're going to be damned. As it tells you, as, as we read in the book of Mark, the 16th uh, chapter, the 16th verse. This is all the setup. Esau, Edom, the Caucasian, is being revealed right now. See, this was his whole, this was his whole strategy, man, it was to put you under that mindset that you don't need salvation, or if you receive salvation, you've already received it. You already received it. So now that you received it, anything else that's being talked about gotta be, you know, false. Can't be true. Can't be sensible so you've been spoiled man and by being spoiled now you, now you've pretty much been marked for that day man unless you repent and it ain't you that's going to be unless the spirit bear witness with you you know there's nothing you can do <laughs> there's nothing you can do to repent man if you're not an Israelite, if you're not, you know, a so-called black person, a Hispanic person, Native American, there's no way for you to repent, man. Because your Hawashai didn't come from anybody outside of that. And of course you got the scatter, the Israelites that scattered abroad and the ones that look like the other nations. But that's why it's not about, you know, looks. It's about the spirit. It says, "Judge not according to this, judge not according to his parents, but judge righteous judgment, man." So this is the, this is the setup, man. This is this is Edom 
putting the whole world under this spell, man. You know, but for those for those who of for those of us who already been predestined, this is just waking us up, man. When you hear this truth, it's gonna wake you up. You're gonna be able to put two and two together and figure things out. And do your research and be led by the spirit, man. So that you get the right understanding and the right truth. You know, and know that you were that that creature. And the gospel had to be preached to you to get you out of that mindset of be of being vain, having vanity. You know, so this is the lie, the truth, the strong delusion. Where you fit in at it. Well, that's that's for to be determined, man. But we are in these last days, and with all what all was go, and with all that's going on, it's evident. But they're gonna make it seem like the truth is a bad thing. That is hate speech. That is this. That is that. All to throw you off. And for those of you who weren't predestined, it's gonna do exactly what it's meant to do. But for those of us who need the awakening, who are already elected and their new rule number, it's gonna wake us up and it's gonna get us prepared for the second coming of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, man, our bridegroom, so that we could be, be prepared for his second coming. So there's nothing, to, there's nothing against the truth that you can do but for the truth, man. So let's let's uh, close out and let's go from there. In First Peter five, verse eight. And it reads: Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. And trust and believe. If he if he could throw you off the path, he will try. If he can get you to believe that you've already been saved and that the works that you've accomplished and already acquired is a indicator that you've been saved, that Jesus is on your side, that who that the servants of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai are just a bunch of men that are practicing and speaking hate speech and they have no validity behind what they're saying then he gonna do that by all means necessary. But for the elect, he can't, he can't, there's nothing he can do, man. Cause we, cause if it be, if it be the Lord's will, we willing to give up our life for this, for this cause. There's nothing that we doing on our own that we can take credit for. It's through Yahweh Shai, it's through Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai that we even woke up, man. That gives so much credit to this truth, man, that this is the truth, the true gospel that's being preached throughout all nations, man. And then the end shall come, the end of this man's kingdom, Esau, Edom, and the beginning of Jacob's kingdom, an everlasting, eternal kingdom of righteousness. Pursuing the second Ezra 6 and verse 9. So it says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walk about seeking whom he may devour. And he looking to devour, and he's and he's looking to devour as many of you as he can up until the last second, man. He's gonna throw you off in every in, in every facet of, of the way he can. Where there's setting up certain groups that's preaching similar to the word, but not the word, and having you to believe that you know it's just you that's doing it by yourself, you know, calling on the, calling on the wrong names, and by the wrong names not having you know complete doctrine as opposed to just keeping the commandments. And not having a name, and by not having a name, having the faith that it's not you that's going to deliver yourself in that day. 
to having different, you know, theologians that's <laughs> got just about 80% or 90% of the world under this strong delusion, you know, he going, he's, he's looking to destroy, man, and devour as many as he can. So you got to get this truth while you can and get the understanding that, yes, you need to keep the law, statutes, and commandments, but it's not just by them alone that you going to receive salvation because you're not going to receive salvation just by that. You're not going to receive salvation at all. It's going to be Yahweh Shai who's coming to deliver us out of this, these pearl times we in. And that's how we're going to receive salvation, not through our own works or our righteous works that we believe by just keeping the commandments that we can be delivered and saved. Because it tells us all our righteous works is as a filthy rag, man. We need to keep the law, statutes, commandments, and we need to have faith that Yahweh Shai is coming to deliver us. You know? So... With that being said, stay strong, stay in the faith. We almost home. Shalom.